Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today we're gonna work with grids and guides and guidelines and whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's like some important stuff that I want to share with you so stay tuned for that. Uh, but before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. All right, let's jump in. What's the ruler? We're gonna start with the ruler that is basically right here. If you want to activate the ruler, you press Control R and you can see it's gonna hide and appear and reappear uh, or you can go to the view go to the rulers and hide rulers and uh, go back and show rulers as you can see it's, it's gonna take forever until you click here so remember the shortcut press ctrl r or command r so that's the most shortest way to do this instead of just accessing the menu over and over again okay so this is the ruler just a long click on the ruler and just you know uh, drag down the guideline and you can see here just drag the guideline. you can do it vertically you can do it horizontally you can uh, grab it from here and does the same stuff for me right now they are locked you just need to right click on these and uh, unlock the guides click on lock or you can lock it I usually work with locked guides so I don't need to change them and now you can edit these move these around wherever you want I gonna lock a guide you can hide the guides also so you don't see them or show guides usually press work with shortcuts so i don't see these as you can see this is one of the shortcuts that hides and shows uh or you can go to windows and go to guides so you can see here the shortcuts like show guides unlock guides make guides release guides you learn the shortcuts and you're pretty much good next what else um as you can see it's another important stuff here as you can see i zoom in it's a uh, this corner of the artboard is always hitting the zero here okay and uh, let's say i press shift plus o with shift plus o basically i move the guide light somewhere i mean sorry the artboard uh somewhere else i press v and it resets itself the zero where it was before so this is pretty nice uh it's because right now we are set on an option and if you go to uh what is that ruler you can change it to change to global ruler what this does is basically if i move it then it won't go back to zero it won't reset itself to zero so it's very important if you know this stuff and uh i'm gonna go back and you also can reset it i mean change it from here you right click on this and you go change to artboard rulers so right now it changed it back to zero and uh, we're good you also can right click and change from pixels to picas inches you know centimeters so you know exactly what you know what what, what you're working right now it's like 10.6 centimeters here and i know exactly uh what i need to do so yeah it's very good if you know these things <clears throat> okay let's uh you know create something okay i'm gonna go to 20 pixels i'm gonna drag a uh, guideline to the 20 let me make this appear unlock the guides I'm gonna delete these and I'm gonna lock guides again so I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna make the corners of the page I mean the somewhere around here wait that didn't appear so I'm gonna drag it somewhere around here and um, 20 again so I'm, I'm just gonna frame the page real quick there you go and I want to frame this also like uh, you know with the exact same percentage like I'm gonna add with the same the exact same numbers you know and as you can see here there's like uh, <clears throat> because of the artboard difference here the, here for example it's it's uh far more it starts here you know the whole thing so you're probably thinking that you need to calculate it perfectly but you know you don't need to do that uh you just need to drag this thing from here from the corner you just long a long click and as you can see i'm dragging this uh plus kind of stuff and i'm gonna put it right here where they intersect 
So as you can see, it reset it itself to zero. So I can um, rearrange it. I mean, it's like pretty. Uh, actually, we got the horizontal one. We still need to put another one here. And this is how you work with the with the guides. Okay, another trick I'm gonna show you and. Um, Okay, I'm gonna create a box, uh, go and select the rectangle tool and press Shift plus Alt, hold it and make your first box square. Go to the object path, split into grid, click previews. So now as you can see, it's adding grids into the square. I'm gonna click OK and you know, it just split in pieces. That's what it, what it does. And right now I'm gonna show you how to uh, create guidelines out of this. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to views, guides, and make guides. As you can see now it transformed into guidelines. And you can create whatever you want on these or... Uh, yeah, it's really useful because uh, if you want to create something and you want the grids and the guides and all that stuff, you can make with the, let's say, I don't know, with, with shapes or with pen tool, I don't know, and then draw whatever you want on these. Let's say we're working uh, with an isometric grid system. Oh yeah, and there was like another option. You right click and you show the grid. So this is the grid, the original grid, basically. And uh, right now you can, I mean, you can uh, create stuff on these. Let's say right now it's, uh, you know, the. It's not, it doesn't even snap to pixels, so I can activate that view, snap to point, snap to pixel, and it's gonna snap to pixel, and you can create stuff here because it's snapping perfectly. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is how you work with these. As you can see, you can't edit it perfectly. It's snapping to pixels. So yeah, this is kind of it. All right, so uh, yeah, this was it. Now you know how to do all these uh, stuff and hope I uh, provided with some help. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos also and have a good day. Bye bye.